What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Last time, Gustavia regained consciousness, so we just need to try and prove him guilty, which is what we're trying to do. Um, he was saying he had no relation or motive to murder Dover, and we're trying to prove that he not only did, but that there was an opportunity for him to do so, which should be around the time Masters left the room to get film. I'm guessing it's these two, these two items. Not exactly a shining example of the perfect line of logic. What? Why? What am I supposed to be connecting here? Okay... Running out of options! Why? Why is that the case? If he had photographed the contents of the Angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out. I see. Pictures, eh? The problem is the time at which he entered Mr. Masters' room. Mr. Gustavia would have moved, or could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seems both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. Dover and Gustavia did not participate. Okay. Okay. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Was Masters' desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, then there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. Okay, slap these two together, but jam! Isaac Dover was alive up until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Gustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? Sorry, but I am far from satisfied. That's what she said. Because I am finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show us that truth? No, there's no need to present any evidence. Since we can just have Mr. Gustavia tell us the truth. So this is where you use that, right? Indeed. Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want you to tell me. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want you to tell me. Ooh, what is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I want to compete for the title of the world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. Objection! If that was truly the case, who ah, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. During the contest 18 years ago, Mr. Gustavia collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? That's what I need to draw out from him, but... Uh, out for... Yeah, that's right. Hmm, it seems he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. First, I'll ask about why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Why'd you collaborate with Mr. Dover? Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances, even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. 
joining forces with the sculptor. You weren't confident in your own abilities. You know nothing about me. We want to make great works together. Um... Wait and see. Sir Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. We all got oh, we all got along well from the start. Really? So were you going to share the title of world's greatest pastry chef together? Wait and see again, I guess. My condition may be worsening. I should get back to the infirmary. Wait! I was too passive there. Okay, okay. Alright, so we're back here. Why'd you uh, collaborate? Wait and see. And wake up! As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. I doubt he had any interest in the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did this his true goal lie? Indeed, my goal was the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. But Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. I see. You cooperated because your interests were aligned. But there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you're going to suspect me in this manner, perhaps I'd better return to the infirmary. Wait a moment! In that case, you should end things soon. I am not a patient man. It seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. I need to keep the pressure on him while being cautious of the time. Um, do you have another goal besides the title? Didn't you have another goal besides the title? The title alone doesn't seem to have much value. How dare the likes of you insult the title of confectionery artist. My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Um, wait and see. 18 years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh, are you saying you have improved at your craft? Exactly, for I have trained at the Republic of Zhengfa. I failed to see the results of your training? Oh, this might be, this might not be right. No, it's not. Okay, whoops. Is that all? You bore me with your empty threats, Sir Prosecutor. All right, all right. Um. Okay, let's go back to the second one. Only goal was the title. Da 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 da. Wait and see. We've already done this before. Wait and see again. Yes, yes. At the time, I also studied Mr. Masters' works. I would often watch his show show with my son. Ah, there, okay. So, were you studying Mr. Masters' work to improve your own skills? If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. Perhaps. To a pastry chef, Sir Masters' recipes were worth their weight in gold. You were interested in his recipes. If, if becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal, you should have also be interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Ugh! The recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The Angel's Recipe's true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. And all the contest participants should have been aware of that. Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. 
Now to slowly but surely drive him into a corner. Oh, thank god it's full health. Oh, okay. Next, I'll ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. Um, did you intend to make desserts with it? Did you intend to win the angel's recipe and use it to make desserts? Of course! If I obtained the angel's recipe, I was going to use it in my training. I hear the angel's recipe was worth a lot of money. I don't know the exact details, but... That recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. You seem to know a lot about the book. It was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. That it was not a recipe book for desserts at all. Impressive, Sir Prosecutor. So you know the true nature of the Angel's Recipe. The Angel's Recipe, some have called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. He knew the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. Uh, do you intend to make desserts with it, or...? Do you know the value? Yes. The Angel's Recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question! It contains Sir Master's best desserts recipes. Any pastry chef worth their salt would want it. Looks like that clue will come in handy. You know what the recipes actually are. You may have studied design in Cheng Fa. However, your skills in line could use more work. You just said earlier that the Angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. Did you need new medicine? That's a good one. Probably for a son. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps what you were really after was the information about the new medicine? I've underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal was more than just the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed the recipe for the medicine. Your son was ill? Tell me more about that. To protect my son's honor, I can say no more. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. This is it. This will be my final move of the game. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What kind of person was your son? Ah, oh, my boy! He loved the desserts I made. Did you enter the contest solely for your son? Prosecutor, you could never understand the feelings of a father has for his son. I wanted nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. Until the semi-finals, my son would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I want to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. Your son sounds pretty healthy to me. If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? My son's illness. It wasn't life-threatening. That might serve as a clue. What was the name of the illness? Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive of you! My son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this with the likes of you. Looks like that clue will come in handy. It must be that same thing that Mamma Masters has, the salt one? You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loved so much.
<laughs> was he too fat? No, I'm not. The angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Masters' taste disorder. What? He had it too? I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. I didn't think you'd figure it out so quickly. In order to cure your son's taste disorder, you needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? It is as you say. Based on how he's acted up until now, it appears he's still hiding something. It seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Alright, let's go back to the bottom. Did the angel's recipe have the only cure? Yes. Though the medicine is being sold everywhere now, at the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That's why I continued making my desserts, without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making. You sure seem confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. Hmm, you had interest in Master's works. You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Masters' works. In addition, if your goal was to win the contest in order to get the medicine formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' entries as well. Mm. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but... None of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. So everything he ate tasted flavorless. This could be a useful clue. Alright, let's go back. Name of the illness? Oh, so insensitive. Blah, 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 blah. Life not life-threatening. Blah, 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 blah. Boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, taste disorder, yes. Moving on, moving on. True goal, here we go. Wait, almost there? Okay. Didn't you also have the illness? Being unable to taste anything regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. It's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself. That's completely ludicrous. 18 years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. Did you collaborate with Mr. Dover? Hmm. It seems you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made the desserts all by yourself. You must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef. But to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant. You did it all to cure your own disease. Well done. It's as you say. The one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Dane Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition. And Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the, con the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate! And with that, I'm going to end this video here. I actually need to rush to the hospital because I'm getting LASIK done, so laser eye surgery on my eyeballs. I don't think it'll interfere with my video schedule for uh, next Monday. Hopefully not, but I certainly know it's, it might. Uh, I might have to work a little bit harder on the weekend. Uh, hopefully my eyes will recover quickly. But okay, if anything does serious does come up, I'll let you guys know. So enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.